embraced us well and sent us like an army to take on the world and we always come back victorious. The challenge is when you have a house filled with tough, powerful, smart women and the mother of the house passes, the one who grew with them, nurturing them, the question you would ask is who can fit into the shoes of a pastor Bimba Odukoya? Who will have the courage and the audacity to walk into the place of a gifted, powerful woman who walked the earth running with her vision and her assignment? You know how children are when mothers die and their fathers become a widow? And they wonder about that stepmother who might just come. So we could have our affairs. But God was merciful to us. In his mercy, he helped our father. A man who cared enough about us to patiently wait over a period, a long period of time. To hear God and to walk the journey of finding the most perfect fit we could ever ask for as a church. And when he brought her home to us as a new mother to children who lost their mother, she didn't try to be taller than anyone. She did not try to be bigger than anyone. She didn't try to speak over anyone. She didn't try to occupy anybody's space. She never for one minute competed with Pastor Bimbo Odukoya. She came in as an angel with a talent and a gift and the ability to find the space because I bet she had prayed and she asked the Lord to find her her own Rehobot, a place that was perfect for her to fit in. And Fountain turned out to be her Rehobot. And we gained the gift of a mother, younger than most, but wiser than many. More cheerful than you can imagine, but she brought sunshine to our lives. She lifted the spirit of our father and she built a house with new learnings that enhanced us. She taught us to laugh. She told us stories as grandmothers used to tell their children stories. If you understood what it was to have tales by moonlight, we had a storyteller in the gift of our angel. Stories we were never part of. Many in Fountain had never been to South Africa. But as you can see, we all became black half caste, Nigerians and South Africans, and proudly so, because she told us many stories that made South Africa feel like home. She loved being a Nigerian with everything in her, and we had many moments of laughter, laughing at her trying to be a Yoruba woman, speaking Yoruba to all of us in her funny South African dialect. She was a woman of God in every way you can imagine. It. She was a lover of God in every way you can imagine it. She was a giver of love more than you can ever imagine. She served God with every tiny bit. I sit a few seats away from her in church. And when Pastor Namti is worshipping, you will know her entire being is submitted to God. Her entire being, she doesn't play. Her eyes are closed. She's in agony as she's pouring her heart out to her God. She loved her husband with everything she had. And his children were her children. His grandchildren were her grandchildren. And every single member of this church was hers to nurture and to love. I tried to imagine a song because she loved to sing and to worship. And you know, as I thought about what song will talk about who she is. Yesterday in church, we sang a song 
I'd never heard it before. But I called Tolu after and said, Tolu, come. I said, Tolu, please, can you please record the song? They're just six lines, don't worry. We won't take your time. But she didn't know what I was going to do with it. This morning, I listened to the song over and over again. As much as it spoke my heart and my personal cry to God, I realized how much the song is truly Pastor Namte. It was her heart cry. And though you might wonder, shouldn't we be in pain as a church? We have lost two mothers. Who is asking? Who is our God? Who is in control? This is a house totally and completely submitted to the hands of God. And this is a man that would die serving God. And we vouch for the integrity of our pastor with everything that we have because we know this man. We love this man. And we know that he served God with everything. And we will all die at the feet of God serving him with all that we have because we know though we do not understand all everything under his control and he's faithful and he's loyal to us and we know that he will keep us as a church we'll sing this song and you will understand that it's truly Pastor Nomte oh and it's actually Pastor Nathaniel Bass's song I didn't, you know me I don't know anything about songs I wasn't there when they were distributing the gift but she will sing it for us thank you Pastor Nathaniel and then Take the stage, Lord, and have your way. I'm just a vessel and nothing more. And when you're done, please take the glory. I'm satisfied just to see you glorified take the stage lord and have your way i'm just a See you, 